Hey Melissa, how was your weekend? Oh hey, Abdul. It was nice. We just hung around the apartment and had brunch at that new place on my block. What did you do? I saw that new Matt Damon movie with Jake from marketing. It was pretty awesome. Oh, Jake, I heart him. You what? I heart him. I so heart him. I don't know what you mean. You know, heart. Like the t-shirt. I just didn't know that heart was used as a verb in this country. You mean the I love New York t-shirt? I heart New York. I love New York. It's I heart. There's a picture of a heart there. I know, but... It's I heart. Everybody says it. No, it's I love New York. I love New York. I don't heart it, I love it. Whatever. I don't understand why people are so afraid of using the word love. Oh, that's too much. Who says that anymore? Love is too serious. We need something lighter. So you don't love Jake? Oh no, I just heart him. What else do you heart? I heart everything. I heart my dog, I heart my boyfriend, I heart Julia Roberts. You are a teenager in an adult's body. What? Oh please, stop being an old stiff. Loosen up. Don't people have slang where you come from? I'm not an old stiff, and yes we have slang. I just think words should mean something. And people shouldn't distort their feelings with meaningless decoys. Heart isn't meaningless. It's like the most important organ. You don't get it. Lils, get what? Lils? That isn't a word either. My little sister uses that in text messages. Oh my god, I feel so alone. Ah, uh, why? No one says what they feel anymore. And words have no meaning. Ah. Uh. Abdul, you are so sensitive, I so heart you. Please stop. What? Don't. What? Please don't heart me. Love me, or like me, or admire me, or respect me, or dislike me, or hate me, but please don't heart me. Oh, Abdul, you don't get it. I heart our conversations. I need to go. Okay, well, have the bestest day ever.